So we know that Boeing has a freighter variant for all of their popular airframes, ranging from the 727 all the way up to the 777 freighter. And while Boeing has a majority share within the freighter market, it really makes you question as to why does an Airbus offer any other freighter variants apart from their Airbus A330 freighter? Well, the answer to this question actually lies with Boeing. They already own most of the market that Airbus freighters will be competing in, and most freighter companies prefer to acquire older aircraft which airlines don't want anymore. They just convert them into cargo planes and voila, and you've got yourself a freighter while saving a huge amount of money. Now most cargo companies won't invest in new expensive aircraft and there's actually no point because they have no passengers to freight. Now apart from the cost, there are two problems for larger wide body freighters. Firstly, the A330 cross section is too small to load the same container as the Triple Sun freighter or the Sun Force Sun freighter. The Boeing freighters can load two size containers side by side whereas the A330 cross section is too small to do so. Secondly is the structural efficiency. Now most people know that Airbus planes are heavy relative to the structural payload limits of the plane. Take for example the 777-200LR and the A340-500. Both planes have a similar internal volume and a floor area. However, the empty weight of the Airbus is 377 tons while Boeing is 320 and their payload limits are 119 and 141 tons. Now the 777 is able to carry much higher payload and this is generally true to all Boeing aircraft. The 777 freighter's structural weight can be reduced by 25 tons relative to the passenger version and payload would be increased by 229 tons. Now in order for the A340-500 to gain the same efficiency with the same maximum payload, Airbus would have to reduce the structural weight by 87 tons and this is quite near impossible to do so on that aircraft. Now volume efficiency is next and it's basically how much of the cross section is able to be filled with freight in a practical manner. The A330 and the A340 cross section loses out on both of these relative to the competition. Now in the case of the A380 relative to the 747, Airbus still comes up short in terms of structural efficiency but it has a tremendous amount of loadable volume and Boeing can't yet match its 150 ton maximum payload. The density of loading must be kept low relative to the payload and the ton by mile cost will be higher than the 747 freighter. But the A380 is still able to carry its maximum payload 700 miles further than the 747 freighter. Now this basically limits the most efficient application of the A380 freighter where freight density is low. But let's not forget that Airbus has been very successful with its A300 freighters. UPS and FedEx have enormous fleets of the freighters which have kept the A300 production line open for many years. But in the freighter business, it's all about conversions. A huge portion of cargo airlines are in conversions and the simple fact is that most of the Airbus planes flying around are not that old. So I think Airbus have taken the right steps to stay out of this market which would actually not benefit them. The A380 freighter is the exception because it will be the largest freighter available and there's no aircraft to compete with it. And this might be the reason for Airbus to build the next cargo plane. So there you go captains, that was a brief overview as to why Airbus don't build many freighters. Now I'm curious to know what you guys think about this and whether the A380 freighter will be the plane of the future. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching my fellow captains, remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.